Hi, this is David. You've probably figured out that I spend a lot of my time editing video, but that video has audio involved with it, and I, uh, I also have to edit the audio, and when I have to get down deep into it, I want to use special tools that are specific to editing audio. Probably the most common thing that I have to do with audio is to eliminate background noise. And this happens when, I, my, for some reason, my handheld microphones fail and I have to fall back to the microphone that's built into my camera. That works okay in a quiet room, but I found that no room is completely quiet. Even if the doors are closed and there's nobody else around, there's still the hum of the fluorescent lights and the, and the fan and uh, other background noise. There may even be people talking on the other side of a wall or um, some sort of noise that's sort of just in the background and always there. And tools like Audacity, allow me to reduce that noise and keep the part that I want, which is me talking to my guest. Uh, I love Audacity because it's free, it's open source, it's cross-platform. I can go to audacityteam.org and click on download Audacity and select my operating system and download it and install it. It's really, really quick and uh, I'm kind of cheap, so the fact that it's free is a big deal. And it has the tools that I need. So I've already installed it here and if I just launch Audacity, you'll see that it opened up with an empty project here. There's no sound files in here currently. Um, if I wanted to create a new project, I'd do File, New, and create a new one. Uh, but what I want to do is take this project and I want to bring a sound file into it. And I actually have a sound file that I've created. So I'm going to import, select File, Import, Audio. And this is one that I created from an interview that I did with Laurent Bignon um, in which it has a lot of background noise, mostly from the hum of fans and fluorescent lights. So I'll click on open right there, and it takes a few seconds, less than 10 seconds, which is pretty impressive because this is actually a 15 or 20 minute sound clip. And I will play a few minutes of this for you so you can hear. My guest today is Laurent Bonillon. Laurent, how are you? David, very good, very good, thank you. It's always a pleasure to see you. So from that clip, you probably heard the, the, there was a kind of a hum in the background. It was a bit distracting. I want to eliminate that. The way that I eliminate that is the first thing I have to do is I have to select just the part of the audio that is the sound and nothing else. And I could do that. I actually had a few seconds in there when I asked, when we both kept really quiet. So let me zoom in. View. Zoom in. You zoom. I'll do that a few times. Make it a little bit easier to select. But this section right here is about four seconds of us doing nothing at all, just saying nothing, just listening to the background noise. I'm going to select that, and then under Effects, I will select Noise Reduction, and then I'll grab Get Noise Profile. The Noise Profile lets Audacity know that this is considered background noise. So when it encounters that elsewhere, it knows that's what I need to, do, to eliminate. And now once I've told it that, then I'm going to select all. Control A will select all. And I will eliminate that. And the way I do that is the same menu option, Effects, Noise Reduction. But instead of getting Noise Profile, I'll just click on OK with Reduce to uh, select it to reduce to, to do the noise reduction, to eliminate anything that it knows as considers background noise. And there's some other settings in here. I'm going to take the defaults right here and click on OK. And it's important to look at that because you may have uh, some issues with the way it did this. You may want to tweak those things and play around with it. Uh, it will have a slight effect, for example, on the voices that it brings forward. And maybe you don't like that effect. Maybe it's okay to leave in a little bit of background noise in order to keep the voices as they are. So now we've done this, and I'll go back in here and play a few seconds of it again, and hopefully you'll notice the difference. My guest today is Laurent Bonillon. Laurent, how are you? David, very good, very good, thank you. It's always a pleasure to see you. So there's the, the voices are the same, but you notice that hum is greatly reduced. Now, uh, this is only available right now, this, this, this changes I made inside of this project. I want to make them available to external purposes. I want to take this, in, this audio and bring it in, back into my video and use it there. And the way to make it available elsewhere outside of Audacity is to select File, Export, 
and I can export as whatever format I want. I'll just grab as a wave file because I imported an MP3, and then I'll click on Save, and it asks me things like what's the artist name and track title. For this, I don't really care about that, but if I was doing music, maybe that would be important. And in just a few seconds, it will output a WAV file. And in fact, if I go back over to here, you'll see there's that WAV file right there that I can use in my other software. And finally, if I want to save this project, so if I want to maybe come back later on and do some other things, tweaks to it, in this example, I probably don't, but I can select File, Save Project, or Save As. Click on Save Project right here. Click Save. And that allows me to shut down Audacity, come back tomorrow, and do more things to it just by simply opening up that project. And you'll see that a project is actually a lot of things. This, this AUP file and this folder with all kinds of supporting folders and files inside of it. So in this video, I've shown you how to use Audacity to perform noise reduction on an audio file and then export that file out for use in other programs. This is David. Thank you for watching.